as we engage as Ashford Institute in civil society and movements for change and transformation, and particularly with intersectional feminist groups, we usually use existing mechanisms for advocacy and for change. We are in the middle of a backlash against the rights of women, but also of other marginalized communities, and a serious commitment from states towards the support of these groups is desperately needed. The aim of our event today is to discuss how for feminist foreign policies in various contexts have been designed, implemented, to what results, to what impacts, Canada is proud to work alongside like-minded partners as they advance feminist foreign policy objectives, and we look forward to our continued collaboration with all those who share commitment to a more peaceful, prosperous, and sustainable future. It is important to strengthen our efforts and improve our coordination, not only to defend what has been achieved during the last decades, but to have the standards being progressive. Meaningful feminist approach might actually be helpful to build bridges to see how we don't need to necessarily say that we are being feminist but still being by when we are defending social economical rights, when we are defending uh, more inclusive uh, migration and refugee policies uh, and that this has a feminist impact even if we are not saying that they are feminists. I think it's about time to look outside the box and to think about the importance of foreign feminist policies and the ways in which these can become uh, user-friendly with feminist civil society in the MENA region specifically.